So, let us have some interactive problem solving sessions by, by students who have taken this course. Uh, so, you will see some uh, illustrations and examples into problem solving uh, which is useful to understand and digest the concepts learnt during the lectures. Okay, uh, hello everyone, I am Ankur. Uh, we are going to solve this problem uh, which appeared in the MMTSP 2013 IAC uh, course uh, in exam 2. Uh, the question is simplify the multi rate systems shown in figure below as best as you can obtain the frequency response y of z in terms of x of z. So, there are two parts uh, a part and b part. Uh, we have this signal x of n and it is going through some uh, up samplers and down samplers and we have to get the uh, frequency response y of z in terms of x of z. Now, if you carefully see uh, we have some up samplers and down samplers and uh, we wish to uh, have a very simplified form. Now, uh, to go about the solution what we will do is we will split this down sampler uh, which is uh, down sampling by a factor of 20 as uh, down sampler by 5 followed by down sample by 2 followed by down sample by 2. So, because 5 into 2 into 2 is 20 that is why we, we will do this and hope to see uh, what happens next because we have this up sampler 5 and we would like to uh, undo what the up sampler does by having a down sampler 5. So, we, if we proceed in the in this direction we have what we will get is this up sampler 2 followed by this up sampler 5 which is given. Now, when we uh, substitute this down sampler in this following way. So, this is just the substitution of the down sampler 20 and then we have an up sampler and then we have y of n. So, now we see here what is happening is this, this particular block is basically identity. So, this is uh, going uh, whatever the up sampler does the down sampler is going to undo it. So, next what we get is simplifying further we have the up sampler by a factor of 2 and then we have 2 down samplers then we have the up sampler 2 and then we have y of n. Now, if you carefully see um, this factor is also identity the up sampling by 2 and followed by a down sampling by 2 is again identity. So, this again simplifies our work and we get down sample by 2 followed by up sample by 2 followed by y of n. So, the key thing to note here is up sampling by a factor of m followed by down sampling by a factor of m is an identity. However, the reverse is not true that is the down sampling by a factor of 2 followed by up sampling by a factor of 2 does not uh, lead to identity. So, if we uh, do the simplification of this if we write this signal as some v of n uh, what we get is v of z is going to be half of x of z power half plus x of minus z power half and y of z is going to be v of z square which is equal to half of x of z plus x of minus z. So, in this way we have got this simplified version of y of z in terms of the, uh, the z transforms of the signal x of n. So, the initial block which looked very big uh, this block has been reduced to a very simple form 
and uh, thus we are able to get a simplified form of y of z. Now continuing with the part b of the question. We have this uh, block, we will write it again for convenience x of n followed by an up sampler and then we have a filter z power minus 3, then we have a down sampler followed by an up sampler followed by a filter z power 3 followed by a down sampler of factor phi and y of n. Now uh, we know we have to use the noble identities here uh, because we have filters here and followed by up sampler and uh, followed by up sampler, down samplers, all these combinations are there. So uh, this block, this, this block we are going to simplify as follows. So z power minus 3, we will write it as z power minus 5 times we write it again. So z power minus 3, we will write it as z power minus 5 times z square. So in this way, we can take the z power minus 5 to the left hand side of the up sampler and do some uh, manipulations as we did in the previous uh, example with the up sampler followed by down samplers. And similarly, this block, we want the down sampler to come this side, we push the filter to the right side using the Nobel identities. Uh, we will use z cube equal to z power minus 2 times z power so using these two uh, relations, we will push the up sampler and down sampler inside and take the filters to the other side. So what we get here is, up sample by a factor of 5 and this we write it as z power minus 5 followed by z square followed by down sample by a factor of 2, followed by up sample by a factor of 2 and then we write here z power minus 2, z power 5 and then we have a down sample by a factor of 5 and we have y of n. So this simplifies to using the Nobel identities, we get z power minus 1 and we have a factor of phi here and we have z square, we have a factor of 2, we have a up sampler by a factor of 2 and we have z power minus 2 and we push this down sampler inside and we have z. We see some, some form of symmetry here, we have z power minus 1 and we have z here and we have z power 2 here and z power minus 2. So something seems to be symmetric and we go forward in this direction. So we get uh, z power minus 1 followed by an up sampler by a factor of phi. Now if we see uh, this block, we can use the Nobel identities and further simplify it to down sample by 2 and this becomes z and this becomes z minus 1 followed by an up sample by a factor of 2 followed by a down sample factor of phi and we have z and we have y of n. So if we see here these two are going to uh, be identity, z followed by z power minus 1 is basically identity and then we have uh, 
if we fur simplify further, we get z power minus 1 followed by a factor of 5. So, if we see here, we are going to uh, get a down sampler by a factor of 2 here and we have a down sampler by a factor of 2 here, up sampler by a factor of 2 and we have a down sampler by a factor of 5. So, we want the uh, interchange, we want to interchange these two and these two so that the up sampler by phi gets uh, nulled by this down sampler by phi. So, if we proceed in this direction, we interchange these two because their GCD is 1, they are co prime. So, we can interchange them. So, we put a down sample by a factor of 2 and up sample by a factor of 5 and this becomes 1 and then we have the interchanging of these two down sample by a factor of 5 followed by up sample by a factor of 2 and then we have the regular filter and y of n. So, these two are going to be identity together and what we have next is x of n followed by z power minus 1 followed by a factor of down fa down sample by a factor of 2 and up sample by a factor of 2 followed by z and then y of n. Now, uh, this can be simplified, uh, I think this is the most simplified form and if we write, uh, if we go further uh, and write this as some v of n. What we have is v of z is basically z power minus 1 v uh, x of z x of z and uh, if we write this as some r of z what we what we have from previous example we had this kind of a uh, up down sample followed by a up sampler. So, we have r of z from previous uh, result we have it equal to half of v of z plus v of minus z simplifies to half of z power minus 1 x of z plus now, we have wherever there is z, we have to put minus z. So, we get minus z power minus 1 x of minus z. So, this is equal to half of z power minus 1 x of, x of z minus z power minus 1 x of minus z. So, this is r of z, but y of z is basically uh, so, this is equal to half of we multiply it with z which is z power minus 1 x of z minus z power minus 1 x of minus z and the z cancels the factors which are multiplying x of z and x of minus z. So, what we have is x of z minus x of minus z. So, just the two examples that we saw uh, one we had a factor of x of z plus x of minus z and here we have x of z minus x of minus z.